hi everybody it's Andrew welcome back to the channel if you've been here before thanks for coming back and if you're new thank you for joining me I hope you'll stay a while and maybe even consider subscribing <clears throat> it is the 31st of December New Year's Eve and I'm going to actually do my completed pages for December I can't see me finishing anymore but if I do I'll just push them over into January I do have some Christmas whips that I haven't finished including the one we were colouring and chatting on and we will continue that in the new year when I get chance um unfortunately I haven't been able to do that because Jennifer's had chicken pox so she was off off school for the last week which was the week I was planning on doing tons of filming uh, and it's just been hard work so let's start with the pages I don't know how many I've, I've coloured not as many as I normally do I always think I'm gonna colour hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures in <clears throat> December and then guess what happens life happens like Jennifer getting sick and it doesn't happen and you get very busy obviously with Christmas so let's have a look so I did colour it in a few books I haven't coloured in before which I'm really pleased with so that's a few off of that list um so this one is one for Colour Your Hoard 2022 um and it's A Chibi Girl's Christmas by April Amber and I did this one of a little chibi with her reindeer sorry it's not up far enough I'm struggling today I'm really struggling I am trying to film downstairs more but it's very difficult at the moment but I will do that and I really enjoyed it, it didn't take long um, it's mostly markers oh hoo hoo um oh, I can't think uh, the bold me ones from the works we've got the deco time ones from B&M Bargains there's some glitter gel pens on here um, <clears throat> there's some white gel pen on here as well for the snow I thought I'd add that just to make it look like it was settling on the houses but I did enjoy doing it I love these books by April Amber so I'm very pleased to have finally done one in that book the next one I have to show you again is one from a book I bought last year which was Christmas colouring so again it's a colour your hoard 2022 and this one uh, came from the works it was four pounds and they're very busy pictures and yeah they're double sided unfortunately but it is what it is and we have to do what our best and I did this one and it was done completely with various gel pens so we used link shines I use the Scriblicious ones. Basically, I've got so many gel pens, I'm just using them now to try and use them up. If you're interested, at the end, I'll show you what pens I did actually use rather than at the beginning, because I forgot to do it, as I always do. <coughs> In fact, I will show you them now, if I can get them. I'm actually keeping them in an RT tin. I can put these in the bin. So, you got one, two bold mirrors one deco time one Arteza Everblend one one of the Oh Hoo Hoo big sets two and you can see they're all the blue ones from the pastel set and then the rest of various oh and this one from the Scribblicious markers and the rest as you can see are gel pens so quite a few going. I'll try and run to do that every month, but I can't promise it because I'm a bit ditzy. I did one in Merry Mermaid Christmas by Deborah Muller. As you know, I love Deborah Muller. I've got lots of her books and lots of her PDFs, and I did this one. And I posted this on my Instagram and my Facebook. And because Deborah Muller and I are friends, I'm sure most of you are friends with her as well. She actually liked this picture. And now I'm looking at it again, I think I really love this picture there's my poinsettia for Coloropoly and you saw my chibi for Coloropoly and yeah I really like it I didn't go overboard with the glitter there is some glitter on it there's some weak Costella but it's not over the top that's that one I did one in Relax With Art issue 100 and again all glitter gel pens because why not it's Christmas um, and it's this ornament page I really had fun with it just colouring in the ornaments and then I thought I'll do a black background because it looked a bit odd without a background and yeah I mean it took me a few days to do because there's a lot in it and I, I tend to do it you know every now and again I do like to sit and colour for hours but it doesn't always quite work sadly 
another chibi I did and another one for Colour Your Hoard is Chibi Girls Christmas by Coco Wyo. I think I got this book last year. Now obviously the black background was already done so that was a relief. But again we've got Ohuhu markers. This is the um, Copic Chow. I will be getting the refill for that when I can so I like it. I might get a few more but they're so expensive it's going to be something I buy every now and again. But yeah and we've got some glitter gel pen markers. It's just, just really nice. I like this book actually. Um, didn't take me too long to do. These ones I find quite quick because I don't always put a lot of pencil on it if, if at all which I didn't with that one so that's another colour your hoard book woohoo of course the fact that we keep adding to our hoards doesn't actually help with getting down I mean, yeah uh, another colour your hoard the magical Christmas by Lizzie Mary Cullen a Christmas colouring book I got this one last year and hadn't coloured in it so I did this one so this was done again with various different pens. I had some metallic pens which I forgot to haul, so I'll haul them in January. Um, and I quite like the way that the belt looks. And some gel pens for the these bits. But the background is actually Crayola crayons. I thought I'll just do a background in crayons, it'll make it a lot easier. And I think it looks okay, I really like it. And I'm glad I finally coloured in this book. Just a change of battery, but hey, you never notice. Uh, colouring Book Cafe, 100 Christmas colouring book. 100 pages, four books in one. So I did one of the ones in here, and I did this one. Again, it's all gel pens, no background. I wanted to do more in this book. I love this book. I just didn't get the time. It happens every year. Every year I say I'm going to do hundreds and hundreds, and every year I don't. But this is what I did do, so. And I do like it. That's all the main pictures done. I've got two non-Christmas ones. I did 101 unique mandalas. One in here. Um, obviously I do these in order. And this was done with the Christmas, pe the pens I got from my Secret Santa, which were the neon colour gel pens. I really like it. I, I love it. It's so bright and pretty. Um, I do love Camellia Angel Cova's patterns and I've got quite a lot of her pattern books but I still have got them all. <laughs> these girls are so, these guys, are these, they're so prolific I can't keep up with them, it's ridiculous. <sighs> Perhaps if I stopped reading and just coloured I'd be alright but then I like my reading and I'm looking at my TBR or part of my TBR which is so big. It is horrendous, it is huge and I need to get it down. Anyway, back to colouring which is what we're talking about. So yeah, I really like that. Really, really like that one. Then I did one in the Sally Berry 300 Matters. Because I do like this book. I can't remember what pens I used in this one. I think, I feel I should know. Was it the Bic ones? I think it was the Bic ones. I think so. Yeah, I think this was the Bic ones. It was only that one I did. I do tend to use the metallics a lot in here busy one um like the the glitters like this one but <clears throat> yeah I think that was, that was the big pens and using they look they're all right this this isn't the one I would normally use it in it because it's a bit quite a big bit of paper but like perhaps the Camellia Angel Cove ones more would be better now we're going on to the colour by numbers these are in no particular order there's a bit of a mishmash of people Ooh. so obviously Satchin Satch Diva Stained Glass Christmas because I love this book and I did this one now I could do two or three out of these, they are so easy to do, but I still only managed to do the one because like I said, I say I'm going to do loads and then it's December and I'm rushing around buying Christmas presents and getting everything sorted uh, and it just doesn't happen. What else am I supposed to do? So I just do what I can, but I do love these books. Then we've got Pratchy Dewan Satch Deva Christmas Patterns colour by number. I think, oh, I've got two markers in here. Did I do two in here? No. I'll, I love this one. Yeah, I did. I did this one. Um, obviously, I've done. Ah, uh, no, I haven't. I've marked. Oh, crumbs. Yes. Did I do it? Yes. And I did this one. And this was a buddy colour with Molly Newland, which is why it's. I do them in order normally, but we did this one. 
this was a buddy colour with Molly. Hey Molly! And I, I forgot about that, I love it, it's great. If you want to do a buddy colour again in 2023, let me know Molly and let me know what book you want to colour in. Most of mine are available on the channel. Um, you do get these things to colour in as well. And I just tend to do them, like next time I come to use this book, in the middle of summer maybe, like Christmas in July, I should colour that in and then I should walk to the page. But yeah, so I did those two in that one. Yeah, we did two in one book. Uh, 50 Christmas Mandalas by Sachi and Sach Deva. And I did this one with the little gingerbread men. I love this one, it's so cute. And I do like this book. And again, this is a mixture of all my alcohol markers now, um, including Everblend probably for the red, just simply because I was, I'm, reds, light blues run out really quickly for me because I use so many of them. I have got a lot of water brush pens I'm going to start using, but there's something about the alcohol markers. They just look so nice, but eh, never mind. Another one I got uh, earlier this year is Christmas Colour by no Numbers by Georgie Ferns. And this one is quite detailed. But as always, I do them in the order that they are in the book. And I did this one of the little birdie. And I think it's actually beautiful. I think it, it turned out absolutely stunning. I love it. Very strange colours, but I love it. And I will be doing more in this one in the new, next year. I hope, because I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, it's a nice book. Colour by Numbered by Christmas by Jade Summer. There's always a Jade Summer in there. I'm getting quite first, it's image 12. And it's Santa and Mrs Claus. I'm not sure why they've got yellow faces, but that is the colour that they tell you to use, light yellow, which is what I did. But I, I enjoyed doing this one again, it was quite good fun. Just so much, I just love it, I love Christmas. All the different, two different coloured reds. Yeah, I like it, I love it, I love it. Oh. And the last one, we're back to Sachi and Sachi Deva and we did one in this book, Christmas Mandalas, colour by number. This is a small book, I love these small books. And again, it's one that's got penguins in it and I love the penguins. And again, it's just various alcohol markers and just sit there and do it. Again, a lot of blue. So that's the last one. I hope you have enjoyed my completed pages for December. There wasn't as many as I wanted, unfortunately, but I'm still happy with what I did. My favourite was Deborah Muller. It's got to be, I love that Deborah Muller picture. I think it's stunning. So those are all the pages I coloured in December. I have now got to go and put all my Christmas colouring books away because there's that many of them. There's still a ton I haven't coloured, so that will go in my uncoloured pages. Oh, there's a lot, isn't there? It's just far too much. We must stop buying colouring books and start finishing them. Yay! Yeah, that's never going to happen, is it? Is it? Maybe. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye!